Welcome to Zombie Co Gaming. This is going to be a Beaver Creek Lanes guide and an overview on the Striker, the modified Fat Man missile launcher that can shoot bowling balls. Okay, so this is the Striker right here, the modified bowling ball launcher. We're going to go ahead and test it out here. Let's go ahead and put a donker in the head. That didn't look like it was a very good time. I'm just gonna point that out. Alright, guys, I didn't mean to. Relax. Rolling ball. Very strong. We're all trying to calm y'all down. Okay. Let's try to take out the doctor. Let's see if we're gonna get shot at his head. Ooh! Side. It looks painful, man. Okay, now that we have a pretty good idea of what the striker is all about, let's go ahead and get started on clearing Beaver Creek lanes here. Now, initially when you get out in front of it, as you can see, it's going to be infested with ghouls. This is pretty much going to be the theme when you walk inside. So I'm going to go ahead and clear these guys out here. Got my buddy Flabbergasket here taking care of business alongside me. You might recognize him from earlier guides we've done in the uh, series here. Now, as always, I'm clearing this on survival mode. So if I have to take care of stuff like drinking, eating, and all that stuff, I do apologize, but that's the way it goes. It also means we can't save or fast travel. Okay, so it looks like we've cleared out the front area quite a bit. We'll go ahead and jump on in here. So I actually haven't been through this yet. Freddy's House of Scares. So. At any rate, I haven't been through this area yet, so I have no idea what to expect. I'm going to guess that there's probably a lot more ghouls. Though. So we got a terminal here initially. Who gives a split? Scared splitless. Oh, for the love. Actually, they uh, bowl quite a bit better than I do. Look at that handicap, though. Oh, so the average is actually adjusted, I see.
Hey guys, I talked to Daisy and she wanted me to pass that along what she found out. This is what she heard from her aunt and uncle, so I don't really have much more to go on than what she was told. Apparently his destroyer went down some time ago in April, around when he stopped sending us postcards. But the Navy is being really tight-lipped about what happened. He was MIA till about two weeks ago, but they were waiting to contact his parents. We don't know exactly when, but it sounded like sometime this year. Okay, now the bad news. Thomas has some kind of spinal injury and the doctors say he'll never walk again. Uh, so, yeah. Apparently Daisy's doing well. Uh, dining area off limits. Sorry about the dining area commotion, everyone. Talk to Miss Clark. So it looks like they had a cave-in or something. Oh, I see. So that must be the striker. <laughs> They must have had a misfire with the striker. Jeez, what the heck happened? The striker go crazy again? Huh. Well then, moving right along then. As always, I'm a pack rat, so yeah. Which doesn't really help on survival, because everything weighs about a ton more. Oh, our first ghoul encounter. Looks like we got a legendary feral. You can pick him off here. More junk. I swear I get more junk from these guys than anything. Nice. <laughs> 
Can't open it from this end. Got it. Okay, so once you reach this room, you're pretty much home free. The uh, Take out the glowing at the top, and the uh, striker's in this room as well. Now just take note, you can't look at the terminal while you're in your power armor, of course. Perfect. And here's the striker, the modified Fat Man bowling ball launcher. After you're done looting all of that, make sure you go through the terminal. Just gonna make sure that I've grabbed everything before I do that. Okay, so once you check out the terminal, it kind of gives you like an overview, how they came up with the idea, what was going on, how they tested it, all the things that went wrong. At some point they actually lose control of it and start launching bowling balls at high velocity into the uh, bowling alley and I think that's probably why it became structurally unsound and they had to close it down. So it's kind of a funny backstory to your weapon. <laughs>
got to record this so I don't forget later. After we closed up for the night, you know, Matt and I split a couple of pictures while cleaning the pin setters, and we got to talking about Thomas. I, I just can't believe he's going to be stuck in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. And now, I, you know, he ain't never going to have the chance, you know, to pull that perfect game he's been so close to. So it's like a quarter of three, and we're shooting the balls back up the return and checking the motors and all, and we get this, you know, this really good idea. So Thomas's arms still work, so maybe we could use one of them ball returns, but you know, we'll hook it up to a stronger motor and mount it on a board or something. He could launch the balls out of it, yeah, and down the lane, it'd be like a, like an awesome bowling gun. Okay, and so that really pretty much does it for the uh, Beaver Creek lanes. There's some additional items that we'll pick up along the way here, um, on the way out, but really thought the backstory behind the striker was pretty cool. You kind of got to find out a little bit about somebody who lived in the war that went through and served his uh, tour, got injured, come back, and how they tried to help him out, and uh, how they seem to have actually instead completely wrecked the bowling alley doing it, so... Kind of a cool little story, a little backstory to your uh, weapon, and uh, I, I like it. I thought it was pretty cool. So. At any rate, I hope you all enjoy launching bowling balls at random unsuspecting people's heads, and uh, good gaming. Take care, everybody.